Hey folks, thanks for joining me today. I want to talk to you a little bit about squares for welding. All right, so squares for welding. When we weld things together, when we weld projects, when we weld 90 degree corners or whatever we weld, that heat can distort the metal. So when you're welding, you need to clamp your project together to make sure it doesn't move if you don't want it to. And most of the time, we don't want that metal to move. We wanna clamp it up exactly how we want it, we tack it together, and then we weld both sides so that it won't move and so that it's a strong connection. So here is a product. It's a fireball tool. This is uh, their magic square. And we actually bought the minion package and it comes with four different pieces that provide different angles. So you can use the square to clamp up your project and then tack weld it and make sure it doesn't move and it's gonna be the same from your plan that you're following as the finished product. It's not going to change angles and it's not going to distort and be out of place. So you can get these at um, fireballtool.com these uh, are the minion package. They're the smaller package or a smaller square. They have bigger ones. They have them out of cast iron or aluminum, and they have some other stuff. I would recommend going and checking them out. Uh, I use these on a project, and it was a, uh, a really good experience. It provided a really solid platform to keep my project exactly where it needed to be, and I, uh, had a really good experience with these tools, these fireball tools. So I used the fireball tools on these brackets. I made three brackets that I'm going to turn into a bench at some point in time. Well, actually just when I get around to drilling all the holes and then putting some lumber on top. But I use these to keep my angles all the same so my tops would all plane out and they'd have the same support on all of them. I use the square in the corners and in the angles to make sure my uh, all my brackets would be exactly the same. So you can use these fireball tool squares a number of ways. My recommendation though when you use these um, is to use these little tabs. These little tabs make this square so that when you get it in there it's at the same level and it holds it up for you. I used it laying down and the square actually held itself up with these little tabs. Now what I'd also recommend is tacking the project away from this stuff so that you're not going to accidentally weld it. Make sure you use that, you get some clamps, clamp those together, clamp your square to your um, project, and then tack the project up, and then once it's tacked up, take the square off, and then weld it up so you're not putting heat into that square, and you're not going to accidentally weld on that square. Hey, thanks so much today, folks, for the view. I really appreciate it. I'd really appreciate it if you go down there and subscribe. That helps the channel out. I'd also appreciate it if you work hard, because hard work is its own reward. Thanks for watching.